into Robot Zones. Boys and girls need separate bathrooms. What is the difference between girls and boys anyway? Hey! Hey, robot! Get in here already! What's the matter, robot? Can't decide which one to use? <laughs> Don't go in the girls' bathroom, robot. Why not, Socks Unit? On the contrary, robot. You should go in the girls' bathroom. Especially if you like to vomit. <laughs> the girls will make me sick? Oh, for sure. If their scary clown faces don't make you lose your lunch, then their hideous foul odor surely will. It's true, Robot. The girls at this school are definitely the most heinous demons in the whole country. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <gasps> hey, dudes. Hey, Steve. Steve? Hey, what are you doing out of your stall? Heard your dudes talking about girls. Yes. I am learning that they are toxically malodorous. I'll tell you about girls. They will. You rip out your insides and throw them on the ground and stomp on them again and again and again and again. Stop staring at me, Robo Weirdo. <laughs> well, class, it's time to find out your new spring electives, which have been specifically chosen to suit your interests. Now, Pam and Stacy, you girls got home ec. Oh, boy. Ugh. Chrissy, you have auto shop. Yes! <laughs> Hi, I'm Chrissy, and I'm like a total guy. Shh! That Pam's the worst of them. Stay away from her. Timothy Morton, metalworking. All right! Metal! Charles Mitch, you boys got video game design. Coolness. Jamie Martin, home ec. Yay! Girl, 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 girl. Robot Jones, home ec. Home ec? Home ec? Home ec? Dude, you got home ec. Home ec is for girls. For girls. Yes, Pam? Guess what? I found a note in my locker from a secret admirer. Oh, wow! I can still smell his cologne on it. And what's it say? I'll show you later. Girls! No. Hello there. Oh! Uh, welcome to Home Ec. Thank you. So, would you like to do a sewing or a cooking project? I will try sewing. Great. Now, do you want to make a dress or a skirt? I will focus on my assignment and hope the girls stay away. Ugh, we are totally gonna fail home ec. Totally. Robot is done already. What? Just look. So, maybe we can get it to help us with our projects. Oh, good idea. Hi, Robot. Can you help us out? <laughs> hey! Come no further, girl. Why not? What's your prob? Girl unit, I'm afraid you'll rip my insides out and make me vomit. <gasps> Mitch told me. What? Mitch? Oh, don't listen to him. That boy is so immature. Now, come on. Aren't you gonna help us? Please? Well, first I must scan you for hazards. What? Threat assessment. Weak. 
Not a threat. Don't you come near me. Not a threat. Okay, I will help you. Oh, uh, okay. Girls are okay. I conclude that the boys were joking about girls. <laughs> hey, robot. Get in here already. So, how <laughs> was home ec? I loved it. Actually, the girls were all very nice. And I got an A plus on my project. A plus? Robot, are you saying that you enjoyed hanging out with the girls? Doing girly stuff? Oh, um, what I meant to say was, uh. Ready. Hey, robot. Hello, Pam. Come here. Okay. Hey, we're gonna get a slice in town. You wanna come? Okay. Stop! Robot, what are you doing? Don't hang out with them! Maybe he doesn't want to hang out with you, losers. Robot? Right, Robot? Yeah, go ahead, Robot. Go play with your sissy new girlfriends. You girl! You girl! Am I a girl? The boys and girls have different interests. I seem to find both boy and girl activities equally enjoyable. Logical error. Now which bathroom do I enter? Hey, Robot. Get in here already. You know what you need, Robot? What? A total makeover. OK. Detail. There. See? Isn't it more fun in here with us? Well, it is cleaner. Ugh, I know. Aren't boys so gross? Yeah, they smell like so bad. All that B.O. Ugh, I shudder to think what goes on in their bathroom. Say, Robot, can you help us out with a little something? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. No! <laughs> They are so disgusting. I bet it smells really bad in there. Oh, what are they just standing there for? Oh. Hmm, my social integration is near 100%. Perhaps I do belong with these girl units. Hey, have either of you guys seen Robot today? Nope. Uh-uh. Jeez, wonder where he's been. Who cares? What are you, his boyfriend? <gasps> So she thinks she looks hot in that? Well, that girl has no fashion sense, I swear. Robot? Oh no, she wouldn't look good in that. I agree. Poor Robot. Those evil girls have brainwashed him into thinking he's a girl. We gotta help the little dude. Charge! Retreat! You look better than me! So you're hanging out with the girls now, huh? No, I was only collecting data. Yeah, we'll collect this data. And wipe off that makeup. <laughs> this is football. This is a model. Attack 
<laughs> Robot? Yeah! Robot! Robot, come back! Robot, where are you? Robot! 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 Ugh. Ooh, that cologne. Dear Pam, I have a huge crush on you. Love, your, your secret, secret admirer. admirer. Kiss me, Pam. But where's Robot? Get in there. Okay. Data log entry. What does it mean to be a boy or a girl? There are many ways for boys and girls to act which are okay. But which way is best for me? I have found that I am highly compatible with both girls and boys, but am glad that I am not a girl or a boy, but a superior robot. Final analysis, girls and boys are basically the same, bickering, inefficient, leaky humans. It seems that chattering endlessly at the mouth <laughs> no longer requires the use of the brain. Otherwise, this class would be silent. Well, at least judging from the results of yesterday's pop quiz. Yeah, I know this is math class, but could you try speaking English? I'll attempt to spell it out for you, kiddo. D minus. Tell me. F minus. Ah, rats! Big deal. If it wasn't for our little smarty pants robot here and his A pluses tilting the curve, this would undoubtedly be the dumbest class I've ever had. Jeez, robot, how do you always get A's? It is not a challenge. I simply provide the correct answers to the questions. Well, 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 I guess my tests are too easy for the robot, huh? Next, you're going to tell us that you think that you're smarter than the teacher. I'm a robot and cannot think in the conventional sense. However, I know that I am smarter than you because it is a fact. Ooh. Oh, really? Well, I was once told that I had one of the greatest minds in the world for mathematics. Hmm. Negative, you must be mistaken. Or maybe you've made a mistake, Robot Jones. A big mistake. I do not make mistakes. <laughs> he played you. Oh, man, did he play you. <laughs> Detention is no fun. Yeah, detention's definitely a dud. But it was worth it just to see you make Mr. McMcMick look so stupid. Mr. McMcMick may look stupid, QB, but he is not. Oh yeah? Then how'd you explain that mustache? Hmm. All right, all right, now settle down, settle down, class, settle down. What you see before you students is an impossibly hard math problem brought to you directly from the wild intellect of yours truly. Thank you. It's worth a hundred points of extra credit, although I know none of you are smart enough to get it right. Aww. Aww. Oh, man. Excuse me, Mr. Mick, 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 but I believe you have made an error. Well, I doubt it, Jones, but if you think you can solve it, you're welcome to try. I was not referring to your assessment of the class's intelligence, but to the problem itself. It seems that you have switched the coaxial rotation altitudes of most Lin's theory of negative polarity couplings. That's all. Perhaps you should stick to problems that are more suited to your sixth grade level of development. Whoa! <laughs> I'm confused, QB. I answer questions correctly and truthfully. We keep getting sent to detention. Don't you get it, robot? He's jealous of you. He wishes he was as smart as you. I hope you little Weisenheimers learned some manners in detention and took some time to reflect on your actions. 
Actually, I would like to apologize. A class, class, settle down. Now, Robot Jones has something to say. <laughs> Go ahead, Robot. I'm very sorry that you are jealous of me and wish that you were as smart as I am. As pointed out, I took the liberty of procuring you a tutor. It is not as advanced as I am, but for your early stages of development, it should do just fine. Oh! That's it. That's it, Jones. <laughs> we're going to settle this the old-fashioned way. Math challenge! Math challenge? Math challenge? Math challenge! Math challenge! Math challenge! 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 Wow, kids, this is serious. He done called forth the ancient rite of math challenge. Hang on to your hats and glasses, because this looks to be a wild ride. What? What? Ooh. Math challenge. Who's ready for a math challenge? For those of you who don't know what a math challenge is, here are the rules. There are three math clues hidden around the school. Each contestant must choose one partner to help hunt for the math clues. I pick Clancy. Don't worry, robot. I'll be your partner. Each math clue will reveal where the next clue is located. The first team to finish all the clues first will be declared a certified math genius of Polly New Middle School. I hold in my hand the first two clues of the competition. Ooh, you better get rolling, Robot Jones. <laughs> quick, quick, solve it! The answer is 510. 510? What does that mean? We're doomed! We'll never figure that out! It's impossible! Actually, the solution is simple. The number 510 is the Dewey Decimal number for mathematics. Therefore, by process of elimination... Quick, the library! Fiddly sticks. I can't figure this out. It must be broken. Why don't you let me give it a try? <laughs> Clancy, my boy. I think I just figured it out. Social studies, art, literature, science, health, math. That's it. D equals 10 plus T-I-O-N? Oh, horrible rules. What could it possibly mean? <sighs> D equals 10 plus T-I-O-N? Duh. It's detention! Off to the... <gasps> oh, oh, thanks for the hot tip, boys. On, Clancy, to the detention hall. Ow! Smart! My faithful steed. Ah! Almost there! <gasps> Looking for... this? <laughs> the last clue! <laughs> See you, boys. Have fun figuring out that clue. Oh, man, the win now for sure. What are we gonna do with this crud? Mm. Cool. Well, it is a three part math problem. The answers are seven. 25 and 13. <gasps> Wait, that sounds like a cryptogram. G is the seventh letter of the alphabet, Y is the 25th, and 13 must equal M. Jim, the answer is Jim, to the gymnasium. They're almost there. Jump on, robot, we'll catch him on my skates. Makes a fool out of Mac Mac Mac. Analysis. 
If I win the math challenge, I will have proved that I am smarter. However, Mr. Mick McVick will then be so angry that it can only lead to more detention. Conclusion, winning is illogical. I did it. Yes, I did it. I'm the smartest. Yes, it was me. I hereby pronounce you the certified math genius of Polly New Middle School. Excuse me, Mr. McMcMc. I wanted to congratulate you on winning the race proving that you truly do have one of the great minds for mathematics. Well, Jones, <laughs> I'm glad to see you finally come around to see the truth. Maybe next time you won't be so quick to judge, huh? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he still looks stupid. See you later on, robot. Data log entry. Apparently, the hardest equations to figure out are that of the human condition. I guess some adults constantly need reassurance that they are more efficient than everyone else, especially when they are not. Does anyone have the answer to the first problem? Anyone? A hello, anyone? Oh, not even you, Jones? No. Uh, Mr. Mick Mick Mick? Uh, yes. QB? Uh, Is it seven? Well, 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 yeah, yes. Well, yes, it is. Well, very good, QB. Well, you see, Mr. Jones, not only am I the certified math genius of Polly New Middle School, well, thank you, but I am such a great teacher. <laughs> if I say so myself. Oh, I'm that nice. robot Jones. He can't win for losing. <laughs> well, good night, America. Oh.